Resurgence is back, brand new Operator Ronin, five new weapons, and more in the Modern Warfare 2 Season 2 update. So what's really new? With the addition of Season 2, we obviously see a new battle pass for us to work on, which includes three new weapons, them being the ISO Hemlock AR, KV Broadside Shotgun, a semi-auto fast-firing shotgun, and the Dual Kodachi's melee weapon, which allows for a faster and further attack with additional lunge range compared to the regular knife, while having slower strafe and sprint speeds. While I think the new melee will be interesting, I'm more excited to try out the new Assault Rifle. Additionally, the crossbow is being added as a completion reward to the new Ronin event. The Path of Ronin event gives us 7 challenges to complete over the course of several weeks, where we can earn operator skins, weapon blueprints, weapon charms, and more. And these can be completed both in Modern Warfare 2 multiplayer and in Warzone 2.0. With a new battle pass and event, we get new prestiges. Prestige 6 is earned at level 300, and each prestige after is an additional 50 levels until Prestige 9 at level 450, which will be the max level until Season 3. We also see new weapon balance and tuning updates. Tuning for existing slots have been adjusted to impact in a greater or lesser way depending on the slider. As a general sense of what we see, we mostly see increases in close range damage to most weapons adjusted and shortened damage falloff ranges. Additionally, launcher efficiency has been increased and submachine guns reductions to damage. A new vehicle is also added which is pretty much just a jet ski, I don't know why they called it something different, and they fixed many bugs happening to vehicles. Ronin is added to the roster of operators who is an ex-Special Forces fighter. They also fixed some audio bugs as well as made proximity chat a little worse at longer ranges, hopefully not allowing to be heard over further ranges. They added new filtering and ways to search and add friends on the social side of things, and fixed several bugs that were occurring. They changed and updated some UI features, and took out some bugs that were allowing players to exploit some things in the lobbies or in maps. New features and ways to play to the Spec Ops missions were added, like one in the chamber on the low profile mission, and fixed bugs here as well. The most exciting part for me is that they added new game modes of Infected, Gun Game, Grind, and Hardcore like we all know and love. Grind is like kill confirmed but you have to bank collected tags at one of two fixed locations. And they added new maps in Dome from Modern Warfare 3, Valdera's Museum from the beta, and two new Ground War and Invasion maps of Zaya Observatory and Al Malik International. Ranked is now here for people above level 16, with the same maps, modes, and settings from the CDL, and in three game modes of 4v4 combat. Play in CDL versions of S&D, Hardpoint, and Control on specific CDL maps, with the CDL competitive rules when it comes to creating your class. All players will start at bronze rank and work their way through the ranks of Silver, Gold, Platinum, Diamond, Crimson, and Iridescent, and eventually hit the top 250. With three tiers to all these ranks except Iridescent, you'll finally be able to show off your skills and brag about it to your friends. Oh, and by the way, the top 250 is global. Additionally, the more ranked you'll play, you'll earn additional rewards like operator skins, charms, and weapon blueprints, and a calling card at the end of the season showing off your season's rank. Warzone sees a new map which includes new and old locales like Afghan from the original Modern Warfare 2. There's a lot that was added in Warzone 2.0 and DMZ, so if you want to hear about that, then drop a comment down below so that I know you're interested and I can make a follow-up video about it. Now that was a lot of changes and new additions to the game. It's been a while since anything new was added, and I think I'm most excited to try out the new game modes and play ranked to see how I fare. I'm also glad that I finally get to level up again. If you want to see more Modern Warfare 2 content, then make sure to leave a comment and tell me what you're most excited for or happy about. So that's going to wrap up this video. Subscribe if you're new here and stayed until now, and let's see how Season 2 pans out. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the future.